very little time is left before Eurovision 2012. Preparations continue at rapid pace around the city. Eurovision Song Contest Executive Supervisor Mr. Jan Olason is in Baku and all our questions are addressed to him. Mr. Jan Ola, as I said, we have little time left before May. We are getting close to the end of the long preparation period. What preparations for Eurovision 2012 are still ongoing and what projects are currently being worked? Oh, I think most of the projects are still go uh, ongoing because there is, a, there is a lot to do and you're not finished before you're finished. But I can see that there have been made good preparations throughout the year. Uh, I'm sure that we will meet the, the deadlines in the end, but it's still a quite a way to go, I must say. Representatives of more than 30 countries are already known. What are your thoughts on the performances of the approved representatives for Eurovision 2012? What I've seen so far, there is a, there is a very good variety of, of entries this year. Uh, it's, it's from, from uh, old celebrities to very young new artists, which is always an exciting mix. I think we will see a great show. We will have to wait another week till, till all the, the finalists are chosen in the different countries. But then we will see. I'm sure we will get a great show uh, with a lot of variety and a lot of quality. Okay, but what about the scene design of Baku Crystal Hall? Could you reveal some secret for us? Uh, no, I cannot uh, <laughs> reveal some secrets today, but it will be spectacular. Uh, the, the, the preparations I've seen so far when it comes to the set design, the lighting concept, the use of elements, uh, going to be very spectacular. You will see something new this year that haven't been seen before and I'm sure that, that everyone will be proud of this edition of Eurovision Song Contest because I think it will be brought forward by leaps actually. What would you like to see in the show? Would you share your ideas with the team? Yeah, well, I have talked a lot with the core team about this. What could be the, the concept of the year? And, uh, and of course, the fire element is, is, is present both in the slogan and, and in this year's uh, team art. So, so uh, I'm, I'm sure that we will see something, uh, something warm, something exciting and something that is from Azerbaijan. I think that's a very good thing with Eurovision Song Contest, that you every year can get out a signal what is, what is the country about. Uh, how do the country want to present itself in the show and I think we will see a lot of that uh, this year uh, and, and that will hopefully be very exciting. The accreditation process for visiting journalists continues. Will there be any innovations in this process and how will accreditation be held this year? It will be held more or less the same way as it has been done previously. We will try to, to make it better every year. It's a, a big challenge for, for, the, uh, for the organizer to keep a tight, firm, but at the same time flexible accreditation system. We will see uh, more or less the same and we hope we can manage to be a little better this year than we have been previous years, but um, it will still work more or less the same. Filming the promo videos of each country which will be shown before Eurovision entries has started. What innovations should the audience expect? I think you can expect to see a lot of, of the country, uh, not as only a touristic video. Uh, we've seen that before from many countries. I think the element that is added in is, is new also technically. Uh, it will be very advanced technically. It will, it will show a lot of variety, uh, both the modern and the ancient, the, the new and the old. And, um, and hopefully that will, that will bring people closer to what Azerbaijan is and the, and, and, and the culture of Azerbaijan. Eurovision TV and the Eurovision core team started a new project together. These are weekly introduction photos and videos about Azerbaijan and its capital Baku. The goal of this is to help people learn more about our country. How do you feel people are reacting to this project? It's always exciting to see places you, you haven't been to and places you, you don't really know. And when you open up like this, with pictures, with, with, with small live pieces, you will see that, that this is a country that has a lot to offer and a city that has a lot to offer. So I think it's good and I think it, it's teasing for people and I, I hope, certainly hope that a, lo a lot of people will, will take the opportunity to go here to, to explore uh, Baku and the surroundings and of course see Eurovision Song Contest. Mr. Janola, you have visited Azerbaijan several times now. What places do you recommend for tourists coming to Eurovision 2012 to visit? 
Uh, definitely, they have to go and see uh, Baku and the central Baku, uh, the, the, the ocean uh, and, and the boulevard. I think that's a very beautiful area that's really uh, well kept and it's, uh, I see a lot of work going on to even improve it. And, and, and I, I think that's definitely a place that tourists and visitors should visit. Thank you very much and see you soon. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Thank you.